Hey, and welcome to this little painting session. Get your art supplies and let's get comfy to paint for the next 20 minutes. I've always found that painting together can be so much more fun and motivating. It's like having a creative buddy to share the process with. Knowing that we're all here creating and exploring our artistic sides makes the process feel even more rewarding. I know. 20 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it can make a huge difference if you paint for just 20 minutes every day. It's still better than not painting at all. Consistency is key, and those daily sessions add up to big progress over time. Don't underestimate the power of routine and regular practice. Even dedicating just a few minutes each day to your art can help you improve steadily and maintain a flow of ideas. Remember, every artist progresses at their own pace, and that's perfectly fine. So let's paint together for the next 20 minutes and see what we can create. hard sometimes to find the time or inspiration to paint. Life can get incredibly busy, and sometimes our creative energy just isn't there. It's something I've faced many times, and I know many of you can relate. One thing that has really helped me is to set aside dedicated time for painting, even if it's just a few minutes each day. Creating a routine helps make art a regular part of my life, rather than something I need to find time for. It's amazing how even short, consistent practice sessions can keep the creative juices flowing. Another challenge is dealing with a lack of inspiration. There are days when I sit down in front of a blank canvas and feel completely uninspired. When this happens, I remind myself that it's okay to take a break. Stepping away and doing something different, like going for a walk or reading a book, often helps clear my mind and spark new ideas. I also find it helpful to keep an art journal or sketchbook. It's a place where I can jot down ideas, sketch freely, and experiment without the pressure of creating a finished piece. This practice allows me to capture fleeting ideas and revisit them when I'm ready to dive deeper. I know you've heard this many times, but hey, it works. Also don't underestimate the value of connecting with other artists. Whether it's through online communities or local art groups, Sharing experiences and challenges with others can be incredibly motivating. Seeing other people's work and hearing their stories can inspire you to keep pushing forward. That's one reason I want to make more of these videos in the future. It really helps me to get motivated and paint, and I really hope this will help you too. As for today's painting, I tried to experiment with my art style a little bit, trying to be more loose with the brush strokes and paint more intuitively. Finding your art style can be also something that can be very challenging. This journey is unique for everyone and can sometimes feel like a puzzle, a very hard puzzle. I know I struggled a lot with my art and my art style, but there are a couple of things that helped me. One approach to discovering your style is to experiment with various mediums and techniques. For instance, if you've been using acrylics, try watercolors or even digital art. Each new medium brings different challenges and discoveries, helping you to understand what resonates with you the most. I, for example, used mostly watercolor and oil paints, but experimenting with acrylic paints and markers helped me a lot. It was a struggle at first, let me tell you. Especially acrylics can be, well, I can't say that word on here, let's say they are a challenge but now I think I got used to them and it helped me to explore more of myself as an artist. I learned so much and it changed my perspective of my work and the way I paint, and all that because I pushed myself to finish this painting with acrylic paint, and that makes painting so much easier for me now, because no matter how this will turn out, I will at least learn something from it. And that takes me further as an artist. Even if this cute little dog would look like Gollum in the end, that would be fine. Although Gollum would be a win as well, don't you think? So always see the positive side, right? And now I keep my mouth shut 
and let you enjoy some peace and quiet with some music for a relaxing painting session.
Before we end this painting session, I want to remind you to be gentle with yourself. Artistic growth is a gradual process, and it's important to celebrate every step along the way. Each piece you create, whether it turns out exactly how you envisioned or not, is a valuable part of your artistic journey. Art is as much about the process as it is about the final product. Enjoy each brushstroke and each color blend. This is your time to express yourself. Thank you for painting with me today. I hope you enjoyed this session and feel inspired to continue exploring your art. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep creating and stay inspired. Thank you.